Yo, Nathan, you are not gonna believe this. <laughs> I think we actually have two cars that directly compete. What are you driving, my man? 2013 Dodge Durango, baby, and it has a Hemi V8. Mine has a six cylinder, I'm but sorry. I have a what cylinder? A six cylinder, ah. but it outsold yours two to one. And of course, this is the brand new Chevy Traverse. Ребята, хватит болтать. Я хочу смотреть грязь. All right, all right. He wants us to go off road, right? Yeah, he's saying stop the blabbing and take him off road, which we will. Yeah. Coming up next on the fast lane car. You know, Nathan, people don't care about horsepower, Hemi this, Hemi that. Really what they care about is fuel economy. This is a family vehicle and mine gets 19 miles to the gallon combined. What does yours get? Oh, uh, less, less. 15 miles per gallon, it's pretty awful. But it's a Hemi, you should hear the way it sounds. It's great. <laughs> So much more invigorating than the way his sounds. You hear that sound? That is the sound of, well, that's the sound of fuel economy. Yeah, I gotta agree, the, uh, the Hemi's a lot better. That's, uh, yeah, not good. And you know what? Off-road, it doesn't really matter because... Ребята, вы все еще болтаете? Поехали в грязь! Okay. Alright. All right, I know, I know, we promised to get a muddy, so let's just, we're gonna muddy. Right okay, now, we're going, we're going, we're going. All right, Nathan, obviously this vehicle is not designed really for this kind of Colorado off-road. <laughs> it is designed for dirt roads, yeah. but it does have all-wheel drive, mm -hmm. so it can go off-road. How's it doing? It's doing pretty good. You know, one of the things with the RT is that you are dealing with much larger wheels with thinner lower sidewalls and then on top of that the all-wheel drive system isn't really made for full-blown off-roading but what you can do at least with this one is there is a rotary switch so it takes you from auto all-wheel drive and you can go into what they call low range no it's not the same thing as low range with the proper transfer case and everything else but what it will do is it'll allow a little bit more hookup and you can really feel it when you're pushing it especially especially in the snow Da, da, da. Поехали, Natan. Okay, all right, well, we're going, dude. I mean, jeez. You know, he wants us to go a little bit quicker and go further off road. And... Yeah, yeah. Buddy, I know, I know, I get it. Andre, it's not an Evo, man. Come on. This yeah. is this ah. is a fine American vehicle. Ah. Now, these cars are, in essence, family haulers, right? Yep. Let's face it, I mean, this is what people use them for. And the great thing about the Durango is that it actually does a good job in towing. This will tow a horse trailer. Uh, it's got a significant, I think it's over 7,000 pounds mm -hmm. of towing capacity. Um, and I think, Nathan, it's one of the more underappreciated cars in this category. Well, I mean, look at the sales from last year. If you look at the Traverse versus this vehicle, I mean, it literally is two to one. And Dodge is updating it for 2014, which means they have faith in it, which a lot of people didn't out there. I heard all these rumors that they were going to discontinue this or use the platform for a new Jeep and blah, blah, blah. Well, guess what? It's going to come out again next year. You know what my take on this is? What? I think what happened is uh, the old Durango, right, was very manly, right? It was, it was very Western. It was very Colorado. And they toned it down a little bit. By doing that, they didn't exactly get the guys to buy it. 
because it was more, well, it was more effeminate, and they didn't get the women to buy it because, well, this is a, still a pretty manly car. So I think finally the market's starting to come around and understand that this is a really good vehicle. I mean, it's capable, it's roomy, uh, the materials are nice, uh, and it'll even go off road as you're finding out. It does it's here today. Me love it. It's here. And it's quiet, he says. Yeah, yeah. Um, you be Tika back there. <laughs> yeah, seriously, dude. The engine sounds great. That's one thing that's uh, so cool about vehicles like this is the ability to hear and feel what's going on under the hood. I love that. Yeah, and you know, these cars are within $1,500 of each other mm -hmm. in terms of you know overall price and this has an eight-cylinder of course it gets worse gas mileage that of course is equipped a little differently it's got the entertainment system which is pretty expensive um, so it is somewhat apples to oranges when it, we're looking at equipment level but in terms of market they compete directly they do compete directly and you know <laughs> I, I overheard Andre talking and what little I can understand, he was talking about how one is like a daddy machine, the other one's like a mommy machine. And you know what? I think he's right. So this is the mommy machine? No. This has cojones. This is the proper daddy machine. Hey, dude. Pop, pop in the machine. Oh, mud's coming up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Andre, there you go. Ooh, All right. Everybody's happy now. Yeah.